Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is Nick teaming, and I'll tell you and explain to you what Nick teaming is and what's the purpose of it. We're going to be setting this up on a Windows Server 2019 box. Um, so at the moment, we have two network interface cards. So for Nick teaming, you need two or more network interface cards on your machine. So ultimately, how the you would set this up in a in a physical environment like my environment's virtual so I have a VMware workstation what I did I can show you here in the settings of my VM I added two network interface cards so we can set this uh, and configure the NIC teaming okay so we can just get started now what we're going to do is open up our local server manager on our 2016 2019 whatever server version you have it's the same exact thing um, so right now, Nick teaming right here is disabled. We can click on here. And once we click on this, we're gonna see our two network interface cards here. And on the left-hand side here, we're gonna see teams. We can go to tasks and new team. We can just put team one. We're gonna click our two NICs. I wanna go to additional um, properties. So the teaming, the teaming mode is gonna be switch independent. For load balancing mode, I want to actually put on address hash. It's always worked better for me in the VMware world. And that should be it. So we hit OK here. It'll start saving. This will it'll, it'll, um, it'll start pending that. Now if we go back to our net NIC settings, if we refresh this, we can see that now if we go on to our network interface cards here, go to properties, See, there's, there's nothing here. You can't go to IPv4 settings anymore. And likewise for Ethernet zero, it should be the same exact thing. Go to, de oh, not details, sorry. Properties and IPv4, we cannot click on it. But we can go on to uh, uh, team one and we go to details. And obviously this pulled from DHCP, but we're gonna fix that in a second. We're gonna put the proper IP address and you see here we have two gigs because it's using both network interface cards. So now we have both of ours active. It's up, so we should be good to go to assign the IP address that we want to configure. And the IP address that we're going to be configuring on this is going to be 192.168.50.200. That was the IP address of the primary network interface card. So let's go ahead and go do that. I'm going to go ahead and use specific IP, and I want to do 192.168.50.200, and it's a 24-bit mask, and dot one is my gateway. And for DNS, it's going to be dot 50.200, and then, whoops, 192 192.168.50.201 for a secondary, and I'm going to put a third one in. I'm going to put Google's 8.8.8.8, okay? So that's all there. Now we can make sure we can get on the internet in a second. We'll give that a second to apply those settings. So while that does that, we can just make sure that's the proper IP because we can go into DNS because this is a domain controller and DC01 was 200. So that is the correct IP address to assign. We'll give this a second. Let me make sure I put all the proper IP settings in. Let's disable IPv6. We don't need IPv6 in here. Go back here. Oh, the gateway went away. Let's make sure we have a gateway. If we don't have a gateway, we can't get out to the internet. All right, and I'll do one more thing on here. I'll add one more. I'll put my router because my router acts as a DNS server as well. And I'll put that up right there. Perfect. Okay, validate, let's make sure everything is good. Now let's give that a minute, and now we should be on the internet. See here, now we have internet. Now we'll make sure we can ping out to the internet. CMD, open this bad boy up, and ping 8.8.8.8, perfect. And we can ping, whoop, whoa, I don't wanna do that. And we can ping Comcast. 
Comcast is 75.75.75.75. All right, we're able to get out to the internet. Perfect. So we are good here. And that's pretty much this very simple process to set up Nick Teaming. You can see it's enabled. And what we're going to do really quick, I want to, for an example, maybe a question is if one network interface card fails, do I still have access to the internet? Does my network break? And we're going to test that right now. Let's go back to our settings, go to enable. Let's go ahead and disable this network interface card. Okay. Disable. Boom. I broke it. Did the internet go down? No, it didn't. And what we can test here, we can go back to our command prompt and ping out to Google. And we can still get out to the internet. And you see that? And what we're going to do is we can go back to our settings. We're going to go ahead and enable this. And we'll do the same exact thing for network interface card 2. We'll disable this. Make sure we didn't ping and we're still getting out. So that's pretty much the way you set up Nick teaming on a Windows Server 2019 server. And I want to go ahead and enable this so I can have both of them active and ready to go. We'll let that make sure it gets back to active in a second. We'll give that a minute and just go ahead and refresh this. Give that a second. We're going to come back in here. And we'll give this a second. We'll give it a few minutes. It's a, it's a slower, so it's a virtual machine, so sometimes it takes its time. But we can still make sure we can get out to the internet. We can, and we can refresh here and make sure everything is still good. Now it's back to two gigs. So now, if you've seen it, it was one gig for a second. Now if we go back here, they should both be active. There you go, perfect. So that is the way you set up Nick Teaming. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help you out. And have a wonderful day and more videos to come. Thank you, guys.